In this video, I'm going to show you how to do binary conversions. Binary conversions are an essential skill to learn in order to do subnetting, which we will learn next chapter. Binary has two digits. With binary, we have either a 1 or a 0. So it's considered a base 2 type of number system. Whereas a decimal system is a base 10 because we have the digits 0 through 9, which is 10 digits. So it's a base 10 type of numbering system. So it's a little bit type of a little bit different type of numbering system, but it should be easy to catch on. The first thing that I like to do before I do any type of decimal to binary or binary to decimal conversions is draw up my chart. And what I do is I drop 8 bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to use this chart a lot in the subnetting and the binary to decimal and decimal to binary conversions. The reason why I use 8 bits is because each octet of an IP address is made up of 8 bits. If I were to draw an IP address up here on the board, such as this, 192.168.10, each one of these is known as an octet because it's made up of 8 bits. So in this class, we're going to work with just these 8 bits and from these 8 bits, we can make up any number combination between 0 and 255. Those is the, that's the lowest and the highest number that we can have with our 8 bits. So I need to add to this chart. What I do with this chart is on the right side, I start with 1 and I double as I go to the left. So I have my 8 bits drawn up and underneath it I start with 1 and double as I go to the left. So 1 doubled is 2, 2 doubled is 4, 4 doubled is 8, 8 doubled is 16, 16 doubled is 32, 32 doubled is 64, and 64 doubled is 128. These happen to be our power numbers of 2 as well. Anything to the 0 power is always 1. So 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the 1st is 2, 2 to the 2nd is 4, 2 to the 3rd is 8, 2 to the 4th is 16, 2 to the 5th is 32, 2 to the 6th is 64, and 2 to the 7th is 128. And these power numbers are going to become very important to us when we do our subnetting next chapter. But first I'm going to show you how to do a binary to decimal conversion. So I'm going to go binary. To decimal here. With the binary to decimal conversion, this is probably the easiest. All you do is you take your binary number and put it right underneath your chart. So if you're given the number 10110011, you need to figure out what that is in decimal. What you do is you just take that number and simply put it under your chart. So here I am putting it underneath my chart 10110011. Now anything with a 1 underneath it, I add up. Anything with a 0, I do not. So if I take a look here, there's a 1 under the 128. So I'm going to add 128. I don't add the 64 because that's a 0. I would add the 32. I would add the 16 because it does have the 1 underneath it. I would not add the 8 because it's a 0. I would not add the 4 because it's a 0. I would add the 2, and I would add the 1. And that number equals 179. Okay, let me show you one more example here. If I'm given a number that does not equal the total 8 bits, such as 1100, then what I do is I just bump this over to the right hand side to equal out what I have. So here I would start with the 8, the 4, no 2, and no 1. So this number converted into decimal as I would add the 8 and I would add the 4. I don't have the 2 and I don't have the 1 because those are zeros. That number is 12 give you one more example with a shortened version here. 
if I'm given the number 10111, what I would do here, start in the 16th place, 10111. So here I would add up the 16 plus the 4 plus the 2 plus the 1, and that number is 23. So again, the lowest number that we could have here with this 8 bits would be just 0. If I had all zeros, I'm not going to add up any of the values. So that number there would just be 0. Whereas if I had all 1s underneath, if I have all 1s underneath, I add up every single value. And if I add up every single value, the 128, the 64, all the way through the 1, that number is equal to 255. So I can have any combination between 0 and 255 um, with that. What if I want to go the other way? What if I want to go from decimal to binary? How do I do that? So if I'm given the decimal number of 156, how do I figure out what that is in binary? Well, again, we use our chart. And what you do is you start on the left-hand side, and you ask yourself, does 128 fit into 156? And if it does, you put a 1 underneath it. And if it wouldn't, you put a 0. But 128 does fit into 156. So I subtract that 128 off of there. And when I subtract 128 off of there, I'm left with 28. Now I go to the 64th place and I ask myself, does 64 now fit in to this 28? And in this case, it does not. It's too big. So I put a 0. Then I go to the next place and ask myself, does 32 fit in to this 28? And it does not either. It's too big. So I put another 0. Does 16 fit into 28? And yes, it does. So I put a 1, and I subtract the 16 off of here, and I'm left with 12. So now I'm going to ask myself, does 8 fit in to 12? Yes, it does. So I put a 1, subtract the 8 off of here. I'm left with 4. Does 4 fit into 4? Yes, it does. Subtract the 4 off of here. I'm left with 0. Does 2 fit into 0? No, it does not. Does 1 fit into 0? No, it does not. So the number 156 into binary is 1001110. I'll do one more of those examples. Let's pretend I'm given the number 223, and I want to convert that to binary. So again, what I do, start on the left-hand side, ask myself, does 128 fit into 223? Yes, it does. I subtract the 128 off of here. And with this, I would be left with 95. Ask myself, does 64 now fit into the 95? Yes, it does. So that's a 1. Subtract the 64. I'm left with 31. Ask myself, does 32 fit into 31? No, it does not. It's too large. Does 16 fit into 31? Yes, it does. Left with 15. Does 8 fit into 15? Yes, it does. Subtract the 8 off of here. Left with 7. Does 4 fit into 7? Yes, it does. So I subtract the 4 from my 7, and I'm left with 3. Does 2 fit into 3? Yes, it does. Subtract my 2 off of here, left with 1. Does 1 fit into 1? Yes, it does. I'm left with Zero. So the number 223 converted into binary is 
I hope that after watching this video you have an idea of how to do your binary to decimal and dec decimal to binary conversions. Again, the key to these conversions is to drop that chart. Drop your 8 bits and start on the right hand side with 1 and double as you go to the left. And those are also going to be our power numbers. So once you have this chart, you should be able to do any binary to decimal or decimal to binary conversions and also be able to do your subnetting. Thanks for watching.